Race five produces a new winner. Nails go Daytona, tough trip for Mark Campbell. At the cones in third, currently nowhere to go, Red Star Volcano, wheeling for home. Keystone Wayland now under a drive, finds a little more, but Mark Campbell in pursuit with Nazgo Daytona, and here's Gilles Berrio on the outside with Kootenay Ice. Kootenay Ice, late charge, Witty Scholar, Kootenay Ice to win it. Witty Scholar second, looks like Katie's got maybe third. Defending national driving champ, Gilles Barrio brings it home to try and repeat his title. Thank you. Do you realize these 15 points have now put you right near the lead? No, I didn't realize that really because I've been doing so bad all day. I didn't think these 15 points would get me near the top. So the, anyway, that's good. The points accumulated, so you're right near the top. Well, that's good. That's good. I got some new nice drives coming up, so hopefully I can get near the top and make it interesting. Big question. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. It's a great problem. We've been, have been here since Tuesday, and we've been having a great time. Let's check out the standings after race five. We find it's a really close race, and a couple of strong finishes could win this for any of the drivers. Race six produces the first driver to win twice. They're midway through that final turn as they get set to wheel for home. Rocket Rochelle paces off now by two. Down the lane they come. Rocket Rochelle by two. Kootenay finale for Guy Gagnon off the pylon. Trying to close up now is Paul McDonnell and Rosie looking. Rocket Rochelle, Kootenay finale. Rocket Rochelle to score. Kootenay finale second. Lady Lola after a tough trip in third. Another strong performance by Gilles, and he moves past Brad forward to take first place for now. You picked this one. Well, yes, I did. Like I said in the last one, this was probably looking on paper. This was my best shot of the day, and, uh, and I kind of took advantage of it, too. Had the rail and left hard. A couple others left hard, kind of got them out of the way and retook the race, and uh, it worked out. Here are the standings after the sixth race. Race 7 sees yet another driver come to the winner's circle for the second time today. As they pace to the three-quarter mark, still Joe Millionaire showing the way. Joe Millionaire by three-quarters of a length. On the outside, Trimline, second over, Hugh and A, three-quarters up, 126 and 2. Midway on that final turn, Joe Millionaire clings to the lead. Along the inside, two-hole trip, I'm a pocket picker. Then on the outside, Trimline and Hugh and A, down the lane they come. Joe Millionaire still with the lead. I'm a pocket picker. You and A. He shifted to the inside and he's closing ground. But Joe Millionaire to score. It'll be a tight quarter for second on the inside. Hugh and A. Wide as the ball is trim line. Guy Gagnon, the winner of the first race, makes his mark by taking the seventh race as well. You got a good day. You having a good day? Yeah, I had a good day. Uh, for sure, I never think I'm going to be in front uh, before the last race, but. Uh, when we see the program, I, I know I don't have the, all the best in the race, but I don't have the bad two. I have uh, depends uh, how the, the race is going to go, but uh, I think I'll be lucky. I had a nice trip, and uh, I think I'm going to take that. With a second-place finish, Brad Forward keeps it close as we look at the standings. It'll go down to the wire to determine who will be the Canadian national driving champion. Three across the track. Sitting in the two hole is popular demand for Guy Gagnon. Why does the ball to rain Hanover and Daniel Putman as they turn for home? Schmoke and Shannon A along the inside by a head. Right there is KG Mad Attack, Red Star Governor. Here's Geraint Hanover, grandstand side. Geraint Hanover and KG Mad Attack. They hit the wire right together. A clutch performance by Brad Forward as he edges out Guy Gagnon for the title. And Brad wins a trip to Norway to represent Canada at the World Driving Championships in May. Brad, congratulations. Thanks. What was this day like? It was a fantastic day. It was, we, you know, we've just been just plugging along. We, you know, we hooked out a couple of wins, but uh, the best part of it was just being able to get a couple of seconds and thirds and just getting the points through. And you, we got a deep stretch too, so I was, I was trying not to, uh, you know, I come, I come hard, it's, I'm pretty aggressive, though. I was trying not to, uh, to be too aggressive here, because I looked last night, it's, it's a long stretch. Were you surprised at how big the stretch is, how long it is? Yeah, it really was, it really was. It's, uh, it's a lot longer than a couple of tracks that I race at at, uh, at Windsor, Sarnia, 5 eighths. What's it mean to represent your country? It's, uh, I'm stuck for words for that. It's, you know, it's still just to, you know, you talk and be able to go represent your country, you know, bring tears in my eyes.